I want to start off this morning with what Magic Johnson had to say about Bronny James. I don't know if y'all caught wind about that. We're going to talk about this Carl Anthony Towns trade as well. But uh, Magic had some interesting things to say about Bronny James. He said, if I'm Bronny, I would tell my dad to just let me play in the G League all season so I can develop. This is what Magic Johnson is saying the approach for Bronny James should be. And I got a lot of respect for Magic Johnson. It's kind of weird. I see how he went kind of crazy at Anthony Edwards with his comments and, and now listening to what he had to say about Bronny James. To me, this really just defines it as Magic Johnson not believing in Bronny James in the short term. When I read this, this basically says to me, Magic Johnson does not believe that Bronny is ready to be in the league, that this uh, game right now is going to be too fast of a pace for the young boy. What do y'all think about that? Do y'all agree or disagree with Magic Johnson saying that Bronny should approach LeBron and request that he plays in the G League for the season? We got the big homie Justo in the building. Shout out to my guy Justo. One of the Lakers lands moderators. He said, when you throw in the water, they either sink or swim. That's a fact. And when you have so many unreliable, undependable pieces with this Lakers roster, every move matters. From the last man on this roster to the to the number one. Like everything counts. JJ Reddit and these guys got an unbelievable challenge ahead of themselves in these next coming weeks. Look, Bronny, I always thought that Bronny was going to play the duration of the league in the G League. I felt like he was going to get some real minutes, especially at the beginning of the year, opening night versus the T-Wolves. We, I believe we're going to definitely see history with um, Bronny and LeBron on the court at the same time. But I did feel like Bronny could use more development I think it would help his game better. But that was based off of the impression that the Lakers were not only going to be more healthy than they actually are, we thought that moves were going to be made over the summer. We thought that this roster would have got tweaked a little bit, whereas though we wouldn't need or rely on some of these young guys as much as it's going to play out to be. Dalton Connect. You know, we expected him to be able to get some bump off the top, drafted in the first round, 17th pick. But now we're looking for him to take the role of Tari and Prince. We're also looking for Dalton Connect to take the role of being an offensive weapon on the second unit. He might be, as far as skill set, the best player the Lakers got coming off of the bench. So it's a lot of pressure for uh, Dalton Connect. And because the Lakers really don't have anybody, I'm more or less with Justo on this one. Just throw, just you got to get in the fire for this one. Bronny James is just going to have to do this the hard way. You know, he's going to have to get into it in real time. And um, the G League at this point, I don't believe will help Bronny James. Maybe little tweaks of, of of his game it might help, but as far as uh, as far as playing basketball, I don't think the G League is going to help Bronny James. I think Bronny James is in a unique situation where he'll learn more from his dad, more from his actual teammates in the locker room, and I think in a practice facility than what he'll be learning in the G League and the development league. Like they just got a new coach down there in the G League, so they trying to figure some things out. I think it would probably be not a good idea to send Bronny down right now because I, I'm looking at it. You might need Bronny James sooner than later because we we really don't have a lot of guards. I mean, we don't have we got a lot of guards. We don't really have a lot of availability with this team. At the two guard position, we have Austin Reeves, Max Christie, and um, Bronny. Those are the designated two guards. We've seen highs and lows from Austin Reeves. A, little, a part of me want Austin Reeves to play a little bit more point guard. I kind of like the way Austin Reeves facilitate. I know some people feel like he turns the ball over, uh, but I like 
the way Austin Reeves facilitate. I wouldn't mind seeing him play a little bit of the one. Max Christie, I know we got a lot of um, hope for and faith in, but we have to actually see something. So there's nothing really to go off of there. So then that leaves Bronny James. You know, we got defense, I think, could help. Offensively, you can't expect Bronny to come in and have some type of offensive impact. That's going to take a while. So other guys are going to step up. But at the end of the day, I have to disagree with Magic Johnson. I respect Magic Johnson. I respect his take. And I will even go out on a limb and say that I pretty much was jacking the same vibes Magic was maybe a, a month or two ago, feeling like, you know, once we got history out the way with Bronny and LeBron being on the court at the same time, probably opening night, go ahead and send Bronny downstairs. Let him, you know, work on his game, develop better. If needed to bring him up before the season, so be it. Uh, we know LeBron is not going to retire, so we're going to get a little bit more of LeBron and Bronny sooner than later. I was on the same type of time as Magic Johnson, but now looking at how things have kind of changed drastically with this Lakers organization, I don't think the G League would be beneficial at all for Bronny. I'd rather have Bronny sitting on the bench for 48 minutes just watching the game in real time. I'd rather have that for him. I think he's in a unique situation, and I think Bronny will be best fit to be on the bench learning with the guys who are actually getting some bump rather than going to the G League and trying to develop a bag. Justo says no G League is going to prepare them for the NBA like Jalen Green, Kaminga. They had to have that in-league experience. They struggled early in their career. There's there's nothing like hands-on. You know, some people are some people can learn on the fly. Some people can learn from what they see. But, you know, Justo is absolutely right. You have to be in the fire. You got to put both feet in. And hopefully J.J. Reddick gives not only Bronny James, just a lot of these other young guys that the Lakers have opportunities that Darvin Ham didn't. From the Max Christie's to the Jackson Hayes. Um, I know people are kind of out on Jalen Hood Shafino, but he will be active in training camp. Hopefully, J.J. Reddick can give these guys opportunities to earn minutes. That's really all I'm asking for the young players because Darvin Ham manipulated it so much. There's still questions that we don't have answered from last year as far as how these guys are playing, how good or bad these guys really are. The Cam Reddishes of the world, the Gabe Vincers of the world. We know injury play a factor, but I broke down Gabe Vincent's numbers throughout his career. Horrific shooter from the field. Horrific shooter from the three-point line. Offensively, Gabe Vincent is not really that. I know what we saw at Miami in, in 2000, what was that, 22, 23? We kind of got uh, sidetracked off of the uh, success that we saw him with in Miami. But at the end of the day, Miami didn't win that championship. And when you look at Gabe Vincent's overall body of work, that wasn't even his best statistical year. His best statistical season, especially from an efficiency standpoint, was actually the year before in Miami. So just though I am with you, brother, 100 percent, I don't think the G League would be beneficial for him. Um, definitely not Dalton Connect. So I don't see that happening. Um, it kind of took me for a loop that Magic Johnson would make this statement going into training camp. You know, Magic is always seem to be the guy who, you know, fights for the Lakers and always try to be objective whenever there's some type of issue with the Lakers. And when he came out with this yesterday, you know, you guys may look at it from a different lens. But Magic Johnson saying that if he was Bronny, he would tell LeBron to just let him play in the G League all season so he can develop. Magic is basically telling you straight up, Bronny is not ready for the NBA and he won't be ready. All season is what Magic Johnson is suggesting. Not halfway the year and then bring Bronny back up all season. I wonder if Magic Johnson was still in the position that he was in prior with the Lakers before Rob Palenka took the spot. I wonder would Magic have that same energy? What do y'all think about that, Lakers land? I guess that's a big question. If Magic Johnson was the general manager with this Lakers, 
Do y'all think Magic Johnson have the guts, the balls, the heart to uh, make this suggestion to LeBron and Bronny if he was in position to be in the front office? For all the latest news and debates on the Los Angeles Lakers, be sure to subscribe here to the Lakers Land platform with Seven, Mitchell, B.A., and Hank. Also, don't forget to check out our playback room for our free VIP watch parties to all our Lakers games and, of course, the live Lakerland podcast. That's playback.tv slash Lakersland.